Senate made on the 15th of February 2024 and the approval of the Senate calendar pursuant to standing order number 32-4. The Senate resolves to extend re recess so as to resume regular sittings on Tuesday, the 17th of September 2024, and that the Senate calendar regular sessions for the third session 2024 be altered accordingly. Next order. Order number three, motion, alteration of the Senate calendar. Proceed, uh, Majority Leader. Thank you, Speaker. Uh, Mr. Speaker, sir, I beg to move the following motion, which is the alteration of the Senate calendar that notwithstanding the resolution of the Senate made on the 15th of February 2024, which is the approval of the Senate calendar pursuant to standing order number 32-4. The Senate resolves to extend the recess so as to resume regular sittings on Tuesday, the 17th of September 2024, and that the Senate calendar regular sessions for the third session 2024 be altered accordingly. Mr. Speaker, sir, this has been occasioned by something we all are aware, which is the fact that uh, our recess has been... Uh, interrupted. Recess is a very important period, uh, Mr. Speaker, in that uh, there is work that goes on beyond the work that we do either in committees or in plenary here in the House, uh, Mr. Speaker. In fact, most of the times, uh, the committees uh, take the recess period to expedite on work uh, that is long standing before them. Some petitions, uh, bills, uh, Mr. Speaker, uh, and also members get to find time to interact with their constituents. Uh, work of a senator is not a very easy job, uh, Mr. Speaker. It involves uh, a lot of twists and turns. Uh, being the only elected position in the Republic of Kenya that does not have uh, funds set aside specifically to carry out uh, development, Mr. Speaker, this job of a senator uh, can be uh, quite the task especially with the mind of the average Kenyan voter who associates work of an elected leader with physical, tangible projects. And therefore, in the absence, uh, Mr. Speaker, of uh, a senator being present and uh, carrying out their oversight uh, rep res uh, responsibilities, uh, many of them would otherwise uh, be thrown out at the next election or easily be rendered, uh, Mr. Speaker, uh, politically relevant. Uh, in fact, uh, besides the position of a member of county assembly, I don't think there's any other position that has a higher turnover uh, than that of a senator, and it is on account of that. I specifically left out the position of a women representative because that's an affirmative action position, uh, Madam Speaker, and therefore that one uh, presents its own unique challenges. But a position that is open for contest for all uh, citizens, such as uh, that of the Senate, uh, Mr. Speaker. By its own architecture and design, uh, Mr. Speaker, I hope that eventually when we get the opportunity uh, to review this constitution, we will do justice to uh, the office of a senator, uh, Mr. Speaker. Either make it useful, as was the intention, because when the people of Kenya voted in this constitution, uh, they were very clear what they wanted, only that the fine print uh, failed them. The spirit of what they intended to achieve with that of a senator, Mr. Speaker, is not what is actually before uh, them uh, by the office of a senator, Mr. Speaker. Therefore, um, I was just saying that to remind members of the importance of the recess period, and especially in light of uh, present uh, day conversation across the country where there's a push to have more accountability 
uh, from both the national and the county governments, uh, Mr. Speaker, and uh, citizens are increasingly uh, demanding for their voice uh, of uh, members of county assembly and the Senate, which is uh, uh, the oversight wing, uh, Mr. Speaker, of uh, our county governments, uh, just to ensure, uh, Mr. Speaker, that services are rendered uh, to citizens. Therefore, uh, it is my hope, uh, Mr. Speaker, that with this uh, change of calendar dates, members will find time, uh, Mr. Speaker, to go and be with their constituents, check on the progress of the works uh, that are ongoing, and so on and so forth. Therefore, Mr. Speaker, that is the basis upon which you have made this simple request. With those very many remarks, I want to request the Leader of Minority uh, to second this motion.